everybody. Welcome to the second day of the Mafia Romance Readathon. I started Queen of Madness by Lee Jacuts. I don't know. I know I'm totally butchering her last name. Sorry. But already loving it. I loved it. So I'm loving it so much that I went ahead and ordered the final one in the duet. Because it's only a duet. So duology, whatever you want to say. So, and I'm already... That's why I ordered it, because I'm already loving um, this book. So, there's this guy, his name is Ezekiel Kane, And his sister did something, and now her and her... Well, she was taken, and her mom's being also being threatened. If he doesn't go on the other side of the mafia and pretend like he wants to work for... The Queen of Madness, <laughs> which is um, Onyx. And so he's got to be her bodyguard and hope that he doesn't get caught and, you know, give them the information that they need to bring. I mean, you know, to for to bring that moth, that side of the mafia down. And these guys that have him, like, or that he has to, you know, the ones that is threatened his, threatened him, his family. They're really, like, awful, awful, awful. They, um, they, like, traffic women and stuff like that. Yeah. And, um, and they're, the other side ain't like that. They're trying to stop them, actually, which is very intriguing. And just Ezekiel, Ezekiel. And, it, you know, himself is like, wow, he's so intense. Like, you could tell there is a darkness in him that, and he's trying to, like, attain it. But he's also very intriguing, and Onyx is really intriguing. I just went apart with her, and I was like, wow. And then we got, like, the, you know, like in um, Alice in Wonderland, you got twins. We got, like, that type of thing going on. There's a couple of twins in here. Two guys, of course, just like in the um, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. And we got um, a person that's called Cat. And, yeah, stuff like that. So, I'm already really intrigued. It's already very violent. No sex has happened yet. But I'm sure it's probably going to go that way pretty soon but yeah I'm really really liking it so I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen like I'm already on page 82 and there's like what 200 and 261 pages so yeah um I was gonna do a, a like a book haul but instead I'm just gonna show you the two books I got so far and, and I'll be getting um a couple of mangas a little bit from um a bit. <laughs> a couple of mangas from Amazon and I'll show you those when um I get those. These two are from Barnes and Noble. My pre orders that came through. Ooh, ooh, okay. I opened up the one I'm really excited for. I'm excited for both of them. But I got both of these are special editions. So I got I Kissed Shara Wheeler by Casey McQuesten. You guys know I freaking love Red, White, and Royal Blue. One Last Stop was okay. Wasn't my favorite. And it's exclusive. Look how pretty. Like, I love the prettiness of it. And then, look at this, you guys. So cool, isn't it? Love that. And then we got the letter. Oops. This is just really cool, pretty. Now, I heard somebody that um, got an arc of this that really loved it. They think it's going to be, um, you know, one of the ones that get banned because it does have something to do with, like, um, the Southern Baptist of, of, how do you say that, Christianity? Of, of evangelistical? How do you say that word? Christian, Christianity background? So, yeah. This is cool. It says, 
it started out with a kiss. The killers and then the lipstick. I wonder what, um, if, how many pages are in here? Oh, that's acknowledgements. There is 351 pages. I don't know if, it, if this is, if this or this, what is the, um, I don't know what the uh, exclusive thing is, but I'm not sure. But it's pretty, isn't it? it? says, to get the girl first, you have to find her. I kiss Shara Willer. It says, Chloe Green is so close to winning. She's spent the four years since her mom's her mom moved her from, or her mom's moved her from Southern California to Alabama for high school, dodging a Gaspery, how do you say that word? Classmate, Gas, Gaspity, 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 Gas, you know, like gossipy. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Classmate in the pure, pure I don't know how you say that word. Administration of Willow Grove Christianity Academy. The goal that kept her going. Winning valedictorian. Her only rival. Prom queen Shara Willer. The principal's perfect prodigy. But a month before graduation, Shara kisses Chloe and vanishes. And then she goes to try to get clues on what happens. And she meets this other guy. She meets this guy that, that, kiss, I mean, that also was kissed by the girl before she went missing, and then there's another guy, I don't know how the other, oh, I think the other guy is his, is her girlfriend, and boyfriend, I mean, is the girl that's missing's boyfriend, I think, and there, and there's, like, puzzles that they have to figure out, there's parties, there's break-ins, or chase, <laughs> it says they're chasing a ghost through parties, break-ins, puzzles, and searches, revealing an monogamous, Monogamous stationary. I don't know. It says Chloe starts to suspect that there might be more to this small town than she thought, and maybe, probably not, but maybe more to Shara too. Fairly funny and frank. Casey McClesson's "I Kiss Shara Wheeler" is about breaking the rules, getting messy, and finding love in unexpected places. I'm super excited. Like I cannot wait. I'll probably read that. I might read it this month or I might save it for um, next month for, you know, Pride Month. And then I got another one. Okay, I'm doing pretty good today with these. Usually I break them right away. I have another edition of this coming too. And I hope I like it. But I got both of them coming. Another, I have Owl Crate's edition coming. But I got <laughs> things stuck on it. Ah, sorry, you guys, I'm making a mess. I'll pick that up after I'm done. But I got The Book of Night by Holly Black. It says Barnes & Noble exclusive edition as well. So, it says even your shadow can be stolen. I hope I like this because I did not like um, Curl Prince. I know a lot of people loved it, but I gave it three and a half. I bought the other two and tried to read the second one and couldn't get into it. So, it's one of those, that's one of the series that I'm going to get rid of. That I'm going to take with me um, when I go and take book back at the end of this month. But anyways, this is Book of Night. Look at this. So pretty. Like, look how pretty, you guys. And look at this. Ooh, so beautiful. All I know is this has something to do with shadows. It says, for everyone who has ever come to New Year's Eve at my house. <laughs> I don't know what the um, special thing about it this is besides the cover and the inside. Let me see. One of them had like something like a different book in them or something like that, but maybe not. This one is short. It's only a little over... It's a couple pages over 300. But this one says, Charlie Hall has never found a lock she, can't, she couldn't pick, a book she couldn't steal, or a bad decision she wouldn't make. She spent half her life working for 
Gloomus? How do you say that word? Magicians. Ma magic, magic, magicians, yeah. Who manipulate shadows to peer into locked rooms, strangle people in their beds, or worse. Glomuses guard their secret greedily, creating an underground economic economy of grimgors, grimgorts, grimgorts. How do you say that word? Grimo, grimgors. <laughs> I cannot say that word. And to rob the fellow magicians, they need Charlie's help. Hmm. Says New York Times bestselling author Holly Black makes her stunning adult debut. With Book of Night, a modern dark fantasy of betrayal, cables, 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 and a disluted, disluted thief of shadows in the vein of Neil Gaiman and Aaron Morgenstern. But yeah, but those are what I got right now, and like I said, I have a couple of um, mangas coming. Yeah, so. <laughs> That's going to fall over pretty soon. That stack is so high compared to the other stacks. But yeah, I am sorry this is such a long intro. But hey, I wanted to show you the books. I might still do a um, a book haul where I show these. Because I have two that I didn't show off. Excuse me. I have two that I didn't show off that I got the other day. And then I have the mangas coming. So I'll probably do another um, haul. But I at least wanted to put those two in. Just for it'll be other than me just talking about the book I'm currently reading. But I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to, I made me a, all right, cooked a breakfast bowl or put a bro, well, I don't really cook. All I do is put it in the microwave. It does, it's magic. But I got that. I'm going to eat that. And I got to start um, boiling the chicken pretty soon because I'm making chicken in. I mean, chicken tacos tonight. So, yeah. But I will talk to you when I've read more. I might take a break from this one and make it last. Since I won't have the other one coming until Sunday. And I might want to go like straight into it. So I might take a break. And I'll either start more in the one I started yesterday on my Kindle. Or I'm going to start either Stolen Air or Ruthless Creatures. Or I might download Ivan. I think I might already have Ivan downloaded, but I'll double check. But yeah, but I'm going to let you guys go and I will talk to you when I've read something. Okay, bye. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and so, you know, I haven't really read anything else, so I'll probably just add on till tomorrow until I get a little bit more footage because I just have not really been in the mood to read and then I was getting ready to read and then I passed out. And I'm kind of like a little burnt out on mob already. <laughs> yeah, even though I haven't read that much, but I'm kind of feeling a little burnt out. So I think I'm going to take the next few hours just to mood read. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to take a little break from the mafia until tomorrow. So just stay tuned for that. Okay. I just want to let you guys know, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow when I've read some more Mafia. Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday, the last day of the Mafia Romance Readathon, and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, sorry I haven't updated you. Um, I've just been not in the mood to read, and I haven't been in the mood to read any more mobster ones, so unfortunately, I only finished one more. <laughs> I finished Seduced. By the center, by a center. Um, the one the pre, the one that went where he was trying to decide if he wanted to be a priest or not. Well, he was gonna be taking a vow, but then he decided, you know what I mean. Anyway, so I read that one. It's okay. I gave it like a four on Goodreads, but it was more like a three point seven five. But it was better than a three, so that's why I rounded up to a four on Goodreads. So yeah, it was good. It was intriguing. Um, yeah, I like, um, Leotin, I don't remember the last name, for, like, if you want a quick read. It's not, like, super violent. I mean, there's violence in it, but it's not super violent, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, but, 
I've been reading, I just haven't been reading this. Like I finished my reread of Unhinged and then I went and finished this book. Now I'm reading the first book in the Elite Protection Services, even though it ain't mobster related, since this thing is <laughs> gonna be short. I just wanted to let you know what I was currently reading. So yeah, I've been reading this today. I'm on page 118. I'm going to try to finish this tonight or in the morning and then tomorrow. And then when you guys see this, it'll be the day of the historical romance readathon. And I got to look and see what prompts they are so I can decide which one I'm going to read first. But yeah, I hope you guys, if, you, if you're a mother and you celebrate Mother's Day, I hope you guys had a good one. And yeah, we um, got up this morning. We went to church. Then... Uh, I wanted to take the dogs to the dog park, so we went over there, and then i just been relaxing. Rob made shish kebabs. That was really good. We're going to let our stomach settle for about an hour, and then we're going to go get ice cream. So, nothing exciting. I'm sorry that this one was so, like, boring. <laughs> but, like I said, I just didn't, I just wasn't in the mood for any more mobster books, but I at least wanted to finish up one of them. Rashad is my one that was supposed to come for the final one in that duology. Of course, Amazon didn't sh actually ship it till this morning, so it, it didn't come today. Now it said it ain't going to be here till tomorrow. That's Amazon for you. They always do that. Oh, we'll have it this day. And then all of a sudden, psych! It's not going to be here until the following day. So, yeah. But that church, we got, they had flowers. And there was a lot of extra flowers, so Rob took a couple more, so I got some flowers in a vase. Well, not really in a vase. We don't have a vase, so we used a cup. <laughs> but, yeah. But that was my Mother's Day. I didn't want to do a whole lot because, you know, we're going to be going to... I mean, last week we went on... Me and Rob went to the hotel overnight, and then we're going to be going camping next month. So, I didn't, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So, I thought ice cream would be a good thing to do. Yummy, yummy for ice cream, right? <laughs> but I'm going to let you guys go, and hopefully the vlog this week will be better. Not so boring. I'll talk to you guys all later. I hope you guys enjoyed this, even though it was short. I hope you guys, if you participated in the Mafia Romance, I hope you did. You had fun and read a lot of books. Then you didn't get like into a mobster, mobster want to read Mobster Slump? Because that's what mine was. I just wasn't in the mood to not want to to read mobsters. That's because I've been reading a lot before even this readathon, so I think I just got a little tired out. But yeah, I haven't read historical in a while, so hopefully I can get into some historical books. But I will talk to you guys in the next one. I hope you guys all had a great weekend. Like I said, I hope if you celebrate, you had a good Mother's Day. And uh, um. You have to have a good upcoming week and that you are reading a lot of good books. And remember, DNF, DNF, DNF. It's your friend. I am so happy that you guys are on this YouTube journey with me. And I hope you guys have a lot of happy reading going on. Or a lot of good reading going on. And no reading slumps and... Until next time, I'm out of here. Happy reading, and thanks for being awesome. <laughs>